right. Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Happy Sunday. Good to see some familiar faces. Good to see some new faces. Hello, Corina. Hey, Anne. Hey, Alan. Good to see you. Hi, Eva. And Nelly. Who else we got? Aicha. Aicha? Aisha. Annika, good to see you. Roland, always great to see you. Pranilla, awesome. Okay, I see a bunch of people calling, uh, joining, guys. Look, I um, I seem to have a little bit of a challenge uh, with my Zoom account at the moment. Uh, for whatever reason, they downgraded my account. Uh, without me knowing, and I need to fix it. What does that mean? It means we can't do live translation, unfortunately. So if you're really, really, really struggling with translation, can you just put a yes or a th a something on the chat? Because we might need to do it old school style. I know it's only Hungarian that needs to be translated. Everybody else speaks English. But I just need to know how many people we're translating for so I can figure out a solution. Let me have a look here. Imola, do you know? Okay. All right, so we should be okay. I am recording it anyway. Um, yeah, I am recording it anyway. I've never used the option, by the way, where it can actually write captions in different countries. Might be a first chance to do that. Anyway, let's rock and roll. Happy new month. Happy new month. Happy new quarter. Four months left until the end of 2024. It's a bit crazy, isn't it? That the first three quarters of the year are gone. Tell me a little bit, guys, because um, what I would love uh, for tonight's call, I want to share a few things with you guys as in relation to our Viago pre-launch event that is happening in just three weeks from now as we're about to create history. So I do have a few announcements to make in terms of that. But I also want this call in order to be as much value to you guys as possible tonight. So tonight I'm gonna to turn it into a mentoring call. If you got any business building questions, that means not customer service. If you've got an order that hasn't arrived yet, please don't, let's not bring that up on the Sunday night call. This is not what they're designed for. But any business building questions, just privately message me on the chat. And I'm going to go through a few things with you guys. And then towards the end, I'm going to go through almost like a bit of a mentoring session, Q&A, address some things that are going to help you guys on what do we need to do in order to launch Viago powerfully and to finish 2024 strong. So before I do that, so firstly, what I want to do... Dun, dun, dun. This is really cool, by the way. I don't know if you guys were watching this, but let me see if you can see your screen right now. It was a hell of a run during the month of August. The leaderboard for the whole world. This is new sales, upgrades. This is the leaderboard for the whole world, Europe, Africa, um, the US, anywhere and everywhere. And I want to start off with doing a shout out to representing all of Africa. Huge, huge congratulations, Lydia, with 10 10 points. Congratulations, my dear. You got a VIP ticket to the Vegas event. Let's everybody celebrate. Uh, let's everybody celebrate Lydia. Okay. 
And by the way, guys, you know, feel free. You know what I always recommend to people doing? You don't have to recognize people that are just in your team. Recognition is everything. And we always want to recognize upline, downline, crossline. Doesn't matter, you know, the success of everybody within our company helps to raise everybody, right? The rising tide raises all shit, as we say. So even if Lydia's is on your team, I would do a shout out on Facebook. I would post a picture and just go, wow, congratulations to Lydia, all the way from Zimbabwe and making it in the top 10 in the world, representing Africa. That's a huge achievement. Um, and I want to go to number four. Now, we think it might be number three or number four. They're still finalizing the numbers, by the way. But I know that Charles and Gabo were very, 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 very close, like this. Okay, now Charles is out of Sweden. Recently just got started. Charles, I told you guys, Charles is the guy that literally I messaged a couple of days after he got started in, uh, in Viago. I was a couple of days too late, okay? So in number one, so Gabo, 14 points, by the way, number one in Europe, representing all of Europe. Um, honestly, I'm very proud of Gabo, guys, because this guy is like a machine. From the beginning of the year, he's been consistently putting in two, three, four personals every single month from the beginning of the year he's just consistent through and through so i know that come the end of the year i expect him he's going to climb at least a couple of ranks before the end of the year because of this consistency so huge congratulations to gabor as well and uh number one eric grisbowski now i've known eric since the first time i officially met him was 2010 when he came over to Cyprus to do a training and he was just like this 25 year old kid, <laughs> like literally comes out of Cyprus and I hear this guy put in 13 personals in his first 24 hours of network marketing. And it's been a while since I've seen him run like this, but it's really good to see Eric running like crazy at the moment with 20 points and look at this, because he got 20 points, his commission doubled. So his paycheck just from the billboard was $3,000. He got 20 points and it went to $6,000. Now, I know in some countries you can buy a secondhand car for that, okay? So not bad for running for a month. So lots and lots of congratulations. Now, the cool thing is is that the $150 direct commission and the $50 bonus that goes to the first 50 squared in the lineage is being extended for the month of September. I believe we're going to get to keep it until Vegas. I'm not 100% sure, but I know that it did get extended until September. So this is the beginning of the month, guys. It's a new slate. It's a new opportunity to create a new story, but we're gonna come back to that. The other things I wanna share as well is um, if you guys, and this is some housekeeping stuff, right? If you guys need translation, Hungarian, Romanian, Italian, any of, the, any of you guys, or if you know people that need translation and fall into these categories, the number of people booked for the translation so far, it's not high enough for you guys to get your translation in language. Now, I know all of these countries should have the numbers for translation, but unless people book their translation, there's not gonna be a translation, okay? So if you're in one of these countries that's affected or know somebody that does, Romanian, Italian, and Hungarian, to speak to your team members that you know need translation, you got to get them to book translation ASAP. I believe the cutoff line for this is the 5th of September. So it's going to be this week. And if they don't hit that minimum of 20, which just so you know, guys, 20 is not even enough for the company to break even. 
cost of translation, booths, headsets, all of that is a very big cost to the company. But they made it a low number so we can help a lot more people, but we need to hit that minimum number. So speak to anybody that's affected, get them to book translation. And now let's go on to the fun stuff. Dinner on Thursday night. I know it's so funny, right? Like we can post all these different stuff on Facebook, but as soon as we post something fun, everybody engages. <laughs> if you haven't seen the poll on Team Up Facebook group um, to whether you're able to attend dinner with us on Thursday night in Milan, Thursday night before the event, please do so because we will make a reservation based on those numbers. So far, I believe we're about 25. And it's going to make a difference because, you know, the challenge is, as we all know, it's, it's a Milan Fashion Week during that week. So there's a lot of restaurants that are pretty full, okay? So if you come to me last minute and go, yeah, but I wanted to come and I didn't, you know, put my name on the list, I'm going to go, I'm sorry, because it's already difficult for me to reserve for 30 people, let alone 35, 40 people or whatever. Okay, so if you know you definitely want to join us for dinner, we're going to choose something very, very cool. I don't like the cheap and cheerful. I'm not going to go for something extravagant. It's going to be between 30 to 35 euros per head. Okay, now, if you order a caviar and the budget goes above that, I'm not responsible. You're responsible for your own bill. Okay, so I'm basing it on the average cost of the mains. If you like to drink and you drink two bottles of wine, I'm not responsible for that either, okay? So everybody's responsible for their own bill. I'm just putting some terms and conditions here. And now we're going to go into Fun Friday. So we have good news, we have bad news about Fun Friday. Which one would you like first? Start, start with the bad, and then we can enjoy the good one. <laughs> That sounds so morbid when you guys say that. Just tell us the bad news first. Well, the bad news is I don't have the link for you guys tonight. Okay? That's the only bad news. All right? The good news is I should have the link in the next 24 to 48 hours. We've already got three different options. We're just in the process of negotiating um, with some of the spaces. Well, not some of the spaces, some of the tours. We looked, we're basically, um, uh, what's it called? We're taking a bus from Milan, going to Lake Como. We're going to visit Bellagio. If you've never been to Lake Como, Bellagio is absolutely stunning, by the way, guys. Bellagio is what inspired the Hotel Bellagio in Las Vegas. It's just such a beautiful, picturesque little town that it almost doesn't feel real, right? So we're planning to basically do a tour, visit a bunch of the villas, because obviously Lake Como is very famous for the villas. Uh, we're hiring a private tour guide in order to give us a tour. And we're also going to have a boat ride in Lake Como. So it's going to be a very, very big day. Okay, I'm just warning you. We'll probably leave about 10.30 in the morning, sorry, 8.30 in the morning. We'll probably come back 6.30, 7.30 at night. So just so you know, wear comfortable shoes. If you've got energy, bring it with you, okay? Because you're going to need it. It'll be a very busy day, but it's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to do a nice lunch in Bellagio as well and come back to Milan. So we're finalizing the details. The bus fits, I want to say, 52 or 56 seats. So that means that once they sell they sell out, okay? Because if we want to take an extra five people, we're going to take a second bus and, the, and then the cost doubles, which means it makes it unaffordable for everybody, okay? So I recommend when, once we release the link, I want to post it on the bronze and above first, you want to be like, you want to get booked ASAP, okay? Don't delay it. Because I know that every kind of fun Friday we sell out and we add a few more spots and then we sell out and we add a few more spots. We can't do that this time. There's only two options. Either fill the bus for 56 seats 
or get another second bus for another 56. Okay? Now, I have no issues getting two buses, but, you know, we can't get one and a half buses. You guys with me? All right? So let your team know. Get them prepared for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is the first fun Friday that we're actually doing as Viago. Now, how do we make September record-breaking? Who can tell me what you believe is the number one thing that you need to focus on for the month of September to make it your biggest month yet? Yes, it's interactive. I'm asking you questions. You can tap it on the chat or I'm going to pick on you. <laughs> Recruiting, yep. Presentations, yep. What else? Presentations, yep. When you guys are writing down goals, do you write down the goal that you want to achieve in terms of new rank? Do you write down the goal that you want to achieve in terms of income you want to make? Like I want to make $1,000 in the month of September, for example. Or do you want to make, do you want to write down a goal based on what activity do you want to do this month? What do you think is the most important? The money, the rank, or the activity? In more or less as activity? Status as activity? And what is status? Yeah. Mm hmm So that's the thing, guys. Activity is correct, okay? Everything is important, right? If you want to achieve a rank, you got to, of course, focus on the presentation. You got to focus on the invitation. But sometimes we can't control the closing as much as we would like, but we can always control how many presentations, how much activity we do. So one of the things that I like to do in order to help people to break this down Tell me one goal that you would like to achieve for the month of September so we can break it down. What's one goal that you would like to achieve for the month of September? Who can tell me? Ten, ten. Twenty-five, twenty-five. Two more to the people to the event. Okay, cool. So... The thing is, is the first thing that we've got to identify, what is the goal and what is the gap between where we're at to achieve the goal? So let's say, for example, okay, let's look at Janet. Janet says, I want to achieve 25 squared, right? So if Janet wants to achieve 25 squared, then the thing that Janet needs to calculate is what did she achieve last month? So let's say, for example, it's 25 squared. And let's say Janet last month achieved, I don't know, 15, 15. Okay, you guys with me? All right, and I want you to write this down. What is your goal? Let's say your goal is 25 squared. Let's say your goal is 10 squared, whatever it is. Just write down, what is your goal? Write it down on a piece of paper. Write down, what did you finish last month? So on top, you're going to have 25 squared, right? Let's say you finished 15, 15. You're going to have that underneath. And I want you to calculate what is the difference. So in this case, let's say Janet wants to achieve 25 squared and she finished 15, 15 last month. She needs 20 new sales this month. 
Are you guys with me? Yeah? Bomba. Okay. So if Janet is 20 new cells this month, and let's say there's, there's 30 days in the month, right? That means that pretty much every day, six days a week, because I'm going to say, you know, let's say one day you don't do presentations, you take it off completely. So every day, six days a week, in order for Janet to be on track to achieve her goal, she needs one new cell per day. You guys with me? One new cell per day. Now, this is where it's very, very important to know your numbers. If she needs one new cell per day, how many presentations does she need to do to get that one cell? Now, let's say, for example, that Janet has what we call 20% conversion ratio. That means one out of five people she shows the presentation to says yes. Right? That's 20%, right? That's two out of 10. That means that Janet needs to make five presentations per day or show five people per day because we don't have to do one by one, do we? We can do a Zoom presentation and have two or three people at a time. You know, let's always think about leverage, guys. We can also do five, um, what's it called? Three-way calls. That means I'm calling Lydia. Lydia's in Zimbabwe. I can't physically go to Zimbabwe and show her, but I call Lydia. I go through the three-step setup, okay, which means I share with her, number one, why am I doing this? Number two, the fact that I'm serious about this, I'm not playing around, I'm taking this to the top. And three, I tell her that there's no pressure. Right? That's a three-step setup. Why? Big deal, I'm all in. And takeaway. Right? So I'm telling her, I'm working on something big, Lydia. You know me, I've been working crazy hours the last few years. I want to break out of this rat race, and I found a way to do this. I'm really excited about this. I'm taking this to the top, and I'd love to take you with me, but I want to let you know you're either going to click or maybe it's not your time yet. Either way, it's cool. I'm excited to share this with you, and hopefully you can really see what I see. Cool? That's the three-step setup. Now, when I tell Lydia, I go, Lydia, I'm going to drop you a quick video that's going to show you exactly how everything works. As soon as the video finishes, Lydia, give me a call straight back. Cool? Now, I've spent a few minutes with Lydia beforehand. I've sent her the video because I can't physically be there with her. While she's watching the video, I'm doing more presentations. I'm doing more invitations. Right? You guys don't need to spend five hours a day to do show five people. You can show five people in two and a half hours. Okay, then I'm calling her back and basically focusing on asking her the right questions to get her started. I will do a session on closing next week, okay? But essentially what I want to focus on is because let's say Janet needs 20 sales, she needs to show five people to, per day to guarantee because here's the thing, guys, the numbers when you make the numbers your friend, you, you collapse the time frame. The leadership comes through the speed. When you're building this business slowly, you're only attracting people that want to work with you. If you want to attract the people that want to run with you, that want to build this fast, you need to run with them. Right? You guys probably heard this expression, the speed of the team is determined by the speed of the leader, right? If someone's going 50 kilometers an hour, it's very difficult to attract somebody that goes 100 kilometers an hour in their team. Usually you got to go fast in order to create the vibration to attract people with you, right? So we may not control all the, control all the signups, although you can put the elements within your control, but you can control the activity. So here's the question. Do you know your numbers? 
do you know what your conversion ratio is? If I turn around and I say to you, for example, I don't know, um, Eva, right? Do you know if you want to achieve, like this month, if you want to make $600, which is four sales, do you know how many people you need to show this month to make it happen? And if you don't know that number, this is the time to really start tracking your numbers, guys. Right? Really, like if you're not tracking your numbers, you're not even building this business. I'm telling you right now. I see so many people that are part of network marketing that are building a business like this and they don't have a clue. Like if I turn around and say to them, hey, what's been your activity in the last 90 days? How many people have you shown in the last 90 days? You know, 90% of people will not have a clue. They'll know exactly all the problems to tell me that are happening in the last 90 days. And they'll, tell, they'll be able to identify all the reasons why their business is not where they want it to be. But if I tell them what's been your activity over the last 90 days, they can't answer it. And one thing I can tell you guys, I, I don't want to sugarcoat it. The problems, they're always going to be there. It doesn't mean just because you make more money, you have less problems. You have more fun dealing with the problems. <laughs> you have different problems. You might not be focused on, you know, how much does this cost or how do I pay the bills? And, you know, maybe you're not focused on those problems, okay? But you're dealing with new problems. And new problems elevate your income. The bigger the problem you're able to solve, the more money that you're going to be able to achieve afterwards. If you're focused on little problems, little problems, little solutions, little paychecks. Bigger problems, bigger solutions, bigger paychecks. So what do you want now? No problems, which means no money. Little problems, little money, or now do you want to deal with some big problems? If you want to deal with the right problems, ask yourself the right questions. So here's a great question to ask yourself. In order for you to achieve the number that you want to achieve, in order to go to Viago pre-launch event, either at a new rank or a new result or a new paycheck, what are the things you need to focus on in the next 21 days? Yes, Sparky. Do you hear Sparky contributing to that conversation? <laughs> Sparky saying, come on, it's made time to wind down right now. You know, I was actually on a on a on a laughing note. I saw this thing on Instagram the other day and I thought this is so accurate. You know, when you're a little kid, you can't wait to be a teenager. When you're a teenager, you can't wait to be an adult. And when you're an adult, you wish you were a cat, right? <laughs> like living a cat's life. And it's true, though. It's like, you know, sometimes when you're a little leader with little problems, you wish that you were a bigger leader, not realizing that there's bigger problems, right? You know, you want the $100,000 a year paycheck, but you need to be able to deal with $100,000 a year challenges. You want the million dollar a year paycheck, you need to be able to handle million dollar a year problems, right? Mm -hmm. Now, there's good problems and there's bad problems. The bad problems are the ones that keep repeating themselves. When a problem keeps repeating itself, it means that you haven't developed the mindset yet to overcome that problem so you can raise your level to another problem, another challenge. So when something happens in your business, guys, and it's a challenge, the question you got to ask yourself, and this is something that always keeps me in questioning mode, is what do I need to learn from this? Maybe there's something that keeps happening in your business. Maybe, you know, you're putting people in all the time and, you know, you still seem to be stuck at the same rank, 
right? For whatever reason, I know I've been there several times in my career. Ask yourself, what do I need to learn? Who do I need to become to overcome this? How do I make a video, Pranilla? <laughs> hey, Pranilla, I told you I would make a video this week, but maybe what, maybe what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm not going to make a video this week. I'm going to say, Pranilla, you need to make the video this week. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Because maybe this is your way of overcoming that challenge, that mental block that you have around the video. I'll tell you what, you know, the first video that I made, I wasn't proud of, but I made another one and another one and another one. Okay. So it doesn't have to be fancy. You just need to do it sometimes. So at least you, you exercise that muscle of doing something that you feel uncomfortable with. Right. The comfort zone is a muscle. The more you stretch it, the more it expands. So question is, guys, what is the number one thing for you guys in order to move to the next level now? Do you have a clear outline of what you need to focus on for this month? Pernilla does, yeah. Who else? Jana does. Anne? So what I'm going to do is that starting from next Sunday, I'm also going to be introducing Sunday night presentations. So we'll keep the team call at 830 as always, but I'm going to introduce once a week Sunday presentations in English. Okay. I'm going to do the first couple. So you guys see me how I do the presentation, but I'm not going to be doing the presentations every week. I'm going to be asking one of you guys to do the presentation once a week. One week it might be Janet. Another week it might be Lydia. Another week it might be Pernilla, right? Another week it might be Imola or Chongi, right? I'm going to be reaching out to you guys in order to be able to start doing more presentations. You know why? Because we've got to get the activity up. We've got literally three weeks left until Milan and we still got a few seats left for this event. Now, remember that you guys have got some extra tickets, some of you guys. If you haven't got rid of that extra ticket, if you have got rid of it, make sure you change the name over to the new person. Because we have limited seating for this event. You guys may remember we struggled to find the venue that could take us before because of Milan Fashion Week. That means that the room that we've got, it's got a handful of seats left. I would hate for you guys to get somebody new to come to the event and you haven't changed the name over and they don't have a seat inside the, inside the venue. So focus on just because, because sometimes people say to me, yeah, you know what? It didn't cost me that much anyway. I can't afford to lose a hundred euros. That's the wrong freaking mindset. Right. When people tell me that, man, my blood boils because you know what? You're not losing 100, 100 uh, euros. You could be losing 10,000 or 100,000. Because you don't know that one person that you didn't manage to have at the next event, you don't know what that person could have contributed to your business. It's not the 100 euros to the ticket is to what that person could have been to your business if you had brought them to the event. So I literally want you to imagine that extra ticket that you've got, it's a million euro seat. You just happen to have it for a hundred euros. I literally, when I got started in network marketing guys, that's how we used to start our presentations. We used to tell people, have a look under your seat because you're sitting on a million euros. You're sitting on a million euro seat because you're about to see an opportunity that could completely impact the direction of your life. Some of you are sitting at the right place at the right time. You don't even realize it. This is how you preframe things in people's mind. So that way, when they see the information, they see it with different eyes. Bomba. Awesome stuff, guys. So have an Bomba. amazing week. Make it count. First of the month. Happy new month.
I'll post the recording in the next 24 hours as usual. See you. Um, I think it's good to let his family know. So, what is that? Chicken? A shrimp? Chicken? I'll make sure it's popcorn. See you guys.